<sighs> Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to episode number five of Bigger by the Day. As you can see, we are getting on two videos a week, Mondays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. Set those reminders, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We're going to 100 thousand subscribers by the new year and I know that we can freaking do it. Now first thing we're gonna do this morning is we're going to the kitchen to take three IUs of growth hormone fasted and grab our jug and start 30 minutes of cardio on the spin bike. Right after that guys we are gonna start cooking breakfast. Now we are doing a full day of eating today as well as a chest day. It is 11 o'clock and I have not set an alarm in the last week. I've actually been letting my body sleep as long as it needs. Now I used to preach in the past that you can grow and only sleep three or four hours a night and absolutely you can, but you will not put on the maximal amount of muscle tissue by sleeping three or four hours a night. Now obviously you will get very far in your business life doing that. Right now we are grinding in business but we are grinding in fitness. And you need to sleep to grow. Especially with my ruptured disc, I just need that to heal as fast as possible and nothing helps heal you more than sleep. You're gonna probably say, Mark, these calories are way too low to put on muscle. But if you remember back on episode number one, goddammit, this Bigger by the Day series is about progression. We are just over three weeks in, so we cannot be plowing back 3,000 or 4,000 calories a day because we need somewhere to go. The reason we are doing so much cardio right now is so that we can slowly taper off the cardio. We are eating slightly less right now so we can increase the calories week to week to week. There is no damn reason that we should be putting on five pounds a week because you will eventually hit a plateau and not be able to do anything more except diet down and then have to bulk up again. The same thing goes for when you're cutting. You should not try to lose five pounds, six pounds a week and start cutting on 1800 calories because you'll do 1800, then you'll do 15, then you'll do 1200, you'll be starving yourself, you're still gonna look like shit and you'll have nowhere to go because you cannot drop your calories any lower without your body going into starvation mode and you holding on to everything you eat to use as energy because you think you're on a damn desert island hunting your own food and you're never gonna eat again. So I'm gonna get this shit done and I'll see you guys for breakfast. Let's get this day going. 300 grams of egg whites with two whole eggs. There are the macros. Now, when I train at two o'clock, I do have carbs with breakfast, but because we are training at night today, because we have a lot of work to get done today, I do eat limited carbs throughout the day so I can put my carbs pre and post workout. When you're trying to gain as much size as possible, I cannot stress this enough. You need to pre, intra, post workout, have only protein and carbs. You don't want any fats. You do not want that slowing down your digestive system. You want simple carbohydrates to spike insulin to shovel as much nutrients into your muscles as possible. Not only is this gonna give you ridiculous pumps in the gym and have your food digest better, but it's also going to put on a lot more muscle tissue as if you eat carbs in the morning and before bed and then have more fats in and around your workouts. And again, this is specific to gaining muscle. So don't come at me with the comments saying I do keto and I get great results. Yes, there's an option for everyone, but we are talking about gaining muscle and that is the most optimal way to build muscle. So have fats and protein kind of throughout the day, but pre, intra, post workout, only protein and carbs. So we're gonna scrub this down, get some work done. I'll see you for meal two. So we need to make a quick stop at freaking Walmart because as I've been like doing this bigger by the day, I like to eat food that tastes good. So I'm like, I don't wanna heat up my shit. So I usually been cooking everything fresh. I go into the fridge and there's no chicken, I'm like, Chicken is a staple in the bodybuilding world and I don't mind going to the grocery store every single day. You know, I kind of go down the Pampers aisle and just hang out for a bit looking for some single moms to pick up. Sometimes it works, most of the time it doesn't. 
But you know, that's it. So we're gonna go get some essentials to cook for the rest of the day. And one thing I like to bring up is always pack your fucking water. That's it. That's something that I've had like a huge struggle with is I would never pack like a jug. I would never bring water with me anywhere. And ever since I started getting a full six liters of water, like the quality of my life has improved. I mean, you need to go to the bathroom every freaking place you go to. And most of the time I'm peeing on the side of the road because I'm driving going places, but your quality of life is hella improved and I do believe it is good for your health because your muscles are 75% water. Fucking Aquaman. So I'm gonna go get the essentials and then I'll show you uh, what we got when we get home. It took so much longer than I anticipated because like I said, I live in the ghettos. And like one of the doors was broken to get in. So I had to go all the way upstairs, ask them to come all the way down to fix it. It was, ended up being like a 35 minute endeavor. I'm actually starving. Like I said, I think it's 16 days now that I'm out of this place. And I actually put an application in for a house and uh, I should know tomorrow at 10 o'clock if I got it or not. So I'm super, super stoked. But I'm gonna show you guys what we got. I got get cooking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the oven to 450 degrees, or as the bodybuilders like to say, 450. What do you bench, bro? Tree fitty. Um, yeah, so this is what we're gonna eat, and this is what I got for whatever we just did. So, sickening, sickening skittles. I had to make one stop to get some SARMs and some peptides from the markhomer.com. I needed some more YK and GW for me. And uh, usually I stock up like $5,000 every week because we're absolutely killing the sales right now. And I haven't run one ad. It's like all repeat customers or friends telling their friends how good this shit is. And it just keeps selling more and more and more. And like, it's crazy. Cause if you know the backstory, like I used to not make any money off SARMs or peptides at all. I was paying so much for these things and I was selling them at the exact same price just because I wanted people to have quality products. And then as I was able to like move more volume, more volume, more volume, I'm like the second person in line now and I can make like 15 or on some products I make like 20% profit. Like obviously I pay tax out of that, but still like it ended up being like a very good business structure. And that's what I mean. Like when you don't jeopardize integrity and you treat people the way they want to be treated, you give people quality products and you have good service it's impossible for your business not to grow. I promise, it's literally impossible. If you're a scumbag and you're selling shit and you're scamming people, expect your business to fail. That's usually just the way that it is. Start with the meats, which is kind of like all we got today anyway. So um, I got some beef stir fry strips, AAA Angus that's very lean. Even though there's like a little bit of fat, I'm still actually gonna trim some of this fat off. This whole package is 10 ounces. So cooked weight is probably gonna be about seven, seven and a half. So we're gonna eat this whole package right now. And with that, we are going to be cutting one sweet potato into like little French fries and we're gonna bake that in the oven. And that's about 150, 170 grams of potato. Um, I don't really care about sweet potato, white potato. If you look at the glycemic index, white potato, in my opinion, is slightly better. Um, but for sweet potato fries, it does taste really good. And since we're not having this pre-workout, it's perfect. Like I said, the reason we're having steak now and we're gonna have chicken pre-workout is because like you wanna lower your fats pre-workout. I don't like to eat red meat in and around my workout because it's higher in fats. And then we got some extra lean ground beef. Sometimes I like to change up steak and ground beef, so I just got one of each. And then we got two packs of chicken. Now this is a life hack for chicken, guys. These are two for 20 bucks. And you see the weight here, so it's 1.128 and 1.196. But there was some chicken in there that was like 0.7. And it's still two for 20. So I don't care if you look like a cheap ass, even though we're not fucking cheap asses, you need to be rooting through that fucking bin of chicken and finding the biggest two packages that's two for 20. Cause it doesn't seem like you're saving a lot right then and there, but when you're eating basically like one of these every day, 
times 365 days a year, that adds up. And then I got two sweet potatoes. Obviously they weren't as big as the ones before, so I'm gonna have these tomorrow. And then we got some white cheddar rice cakes. Um, I usually eat the butter rice cakes, but they didn't have butter, so I got white cheddar. And right now, there's seven rice cakes. I usually eat one rice cake while I cook my food. Cause like I said, I cook everything fresh, and when I'm cooking, I'm like, I'm fucking hungry. So I usually have one or two rice cakes every time I cook, and if I have any rice cakes left, I have them right before I leave to the gym. Um, just because that's, that's what I like to fucking do. So meal, steak, sweet potatoes, here are the macros. That's really, that's really it. Uh, I don't eat like too fucking crazy. Um, I obviously like to have some fun things, which I'll have later in the day, like after my workout. But for that, this is our second meal of the day, and I'll see you guys for our third meal of the day, which today is also going to be our pre-workout because we did get up kind of on the later side, so. It's so dark in here, but the light's burnt out, and I leave in 16 days, and I'm not replacing the light. Fuck them. We got chicken and rice, and the rest of my rice cakes. So we're having four rice cakes, and uh, 170 grams of chicken, and 180 grams of white rice, that's it. Like I said, protein and carbs pre-workout. That's how you get big. Here are the macros. We're gonna be training chest today. And uh, Emmanuel is gonna be filming it because he's been killing it. And instead of making an edit, I'm actually gonna take you through what we are doing in the gym, in the gym. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna scrub this down. Let's see. I think this chicken is like hella undercooked. Yeah, hella undercooked, but we're in a rush. We have to eat this in 15 minutes and leave. Holy fuck. I will see you in the gym if I don't die from salmonella poisoning first. So, chest day. Music's super loud, so I'm gonna get nice, close, and personal with you guys. Thank God my skin's clear from acneattackskincare.com, and I'm hyped the fuck up from Gorilla Mode. Two and a half scoops, plus one scoop of nitric. Use my code at checkout, Mark. It hooks your boy up with more steroids via commission, motherfuckers. Via commission, motherfucker. Usually, I like to do pre-exhaustion, which I like to do a cable fly of some sort before we get into pressing, so I don't have to use as heavy weight. But since all the flies are being used, we're just gonna go right into incline press. As you guys see, my chest has severe disproportion to the rest of my body. And I really wanna get that like Arnold looking chest. It's kind of a busy day, so we're also gonna have to pick what's open. The biggest recommendation I can say is, if you have a specific plan, fuck your specific plan. When the gym is busy, you should not, who the fuck just turned the music up? I'm gonna fucking kill this guy. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> uh, <laughs> holy fuck. Uh, like why? The music was already so fucking loud. Um, if you have a specific plan, but that plan requires you to wait 30 minutes for an exercise, your workout's shit. So honestly, just skip to the next exercise and go back to it. Unless you are like a top level IFBB pro, and if you're a top level IFBB pro, you have the best genetics in the world, so you don't need to worry about that. So just keep up the fast pace, train with intensity, and you will grow, I promise, no matter what order you do this in. Chest together, usually I like to do chest and biceps, but I actually did arms yesterday, so like it just isn't gonna work out today, but since we're gonna rip off our hoodie onto a tank, just wanna get a little tricep pump, you know? I didn't even take any clam. I'm just that hot. I go pretty light. Basically started with incline. Incline, obviously. Start your workout as heavy as possible. I had to call it because like my ruptured disc was really giving me irritations. Even though I had a manual putting the weight on my leg, but um, every other chest machine and flies taken. So we're going right into dumbbell flies. We're gonna do it on an incline. I like to tuck my chin in and really like hug a tree. I don't like to keep my arms completely straight and I don't like to have them hella bent. I literally try to like hug a tree and really activate like the upper 
inner part of my chest. When I can't do any more with the weight, I'll do partials at the end. And in my opinion, that really gets the outer line of your chest defined. So we're gonna go up and weight each set like we normally do, right to failure. We're working. We're fucking working. Kind of very similar to the incline presses, I don't fully lock out my elbows. We ain't no fucking bitches. We don't rest at the top. Constant contraction. I can't get that through your head. If you lock your elbows out, you're taking all the tension off your chest and putting it on your front delts and your triceps. If you come up to here and you're flexing your chest, you're flexing your chest and you come back down and you flex your chest, flex your chest, you do not want to go here. To here is your active range of motion. So if you can't do the weight without locking it at the top every single rep, then maybe you should lighten the weight. Like I said, strength is relative. Just because it's just because 400 pounds is heavy for someone and 100 pounds is heavy for you doesn't mean you're not getting the same activation. If you do a fly, it really doesn't fucking matter if you cross your hands or not. Like you're going to put on as much muscle as you can genetically put on or take enough steroids of genetically mutating your body to put on put on muscle. So, I mean just do it however you feel the best contraction and I guarantee you if you're gonna grow, you're gonna grow. You'll learn pretty fast that no matter what you do, if you're gonna build muscle, you're gonna build muscle, and if you're not gonna build muscle, you're, you're not gonna build muscle. I'll actually put this in Greg Doucette's terms. If you're not building muscle, it's probably because you haven't bought my anabolic cookbook. <laughs> and you know, you're doing so much incline. It's because I don't have like a round chest. I want like a big chest. If you have a big upper chest and it just falls down, it just like looks proper, so. We're gonna just really pump up the, the front of the chest here, and then we're gonna call it a day. So, let's keep the intensity high. Your, uh, your last exercise needs to be the same intensity as your first exercise, remember that. You may not be able to go as heavy, but it still needs to be as intense. <laughs> Shout out to Emmanuel. I mean, we're gonna be working together most likely twice a week, every single week, for the rest of this fucking series, probably for the next fucking year, two years, however long he puts up with my bullshit. So, his links are in the description, and I'll see you at home for our post workout. Post workout today is gonna be two scoops of Isoflex and some Mr. Fucking Noodles. Um, one of my friends actually, <coughs> and they were like, hey, do you wanna come over? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'm just finishing up at the gym, I'm hella sweaty. They're like, I don't care. So, I always keep these Mr. Noodles in my car, <coughs> cause you can never sacrifice those gains. So uh, I'm gonna chug this protein, finish these fast digesting carbs. Mm. And guys, like, this is super high in sodium, which normally I don't like sodium post-workout, but I do love sodium throughout the day because sodium actually helps your muscles contract and heal. A lot of people try to cut back on salt, cut back on sodium. If you're training 100% and you're sweating a lot, keep on the salt with every single meal. So gonna do this and then I'll probably see you for either our last meal or our second last meal of the day depending what time it is so ciao for now it's actually 11 o'clock <clears throat> all right guys so it is actually 11 30 at night god damn it and would this be a bigger by the day episode if we didn't do a goddamn food run? I mean, we don't got any Ben and Jerry's ice cream yet because we ain't at that stage, but we going. So it's honestly Tuesday in Ottawa. I'm not in the States right now. Nothing is open except this one sandwich shop. So we're going to drive to the sandwich shop and we are going to finish off our last meal there. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I get and uh, we're obviously gonna try to keep things clean like we're not gonna go get 
a large pizza and french fries and all this that's why we're not going to a pizza shop and we're going to a sandwich shop so we can have good carbs good meat and good fats so just about to pull up now and uh I don't even know if this place is open to be honest with you. I, I, I think it is. Burning, Bur Birmingham, Birmingham. And uh, as you can see on the pictures there, they got like some, I, I don't know what these pictures are, but they look like some big ass, like steak filled sandwiches. And like, it honestly doesn't look like that many carbs. It just looks like majority like protein and some cheese. So, I mean, let's, I'm gonna go in right now, I'm gonna order, and then uh, I'll show you exactly what we get uh, when I get home. Only a calorie count on the, on the board there, and it said it was 726 calories. Seems about 700 calories. I'm hoping that there's a lot of meat in here and like less bread. Oh yeah, look at that. That's fucking juicy! I asked for no cheese actually because the steak had enough fat for the last meal. So just got onions, lettuce, steak on this bun. Mmm. New favorite like cheap meal places to go because that's just fire. I'm gonna get to work. It's like 12 o'clock, 12.30 in the morning. Probably gonna edit this video until like three. Like I said, two time a week posting schedules. So that makes the final macros of the day. Obviously the protein, carbs, and fats, I don't have the exact number um, because of this last meal. If I had to guess, it's probably anywhere from like 30 grams of protein in there. Probably like 40 grams, 50 grams of carbs. Um, but I'm just estimating obviously off of the 726 calorie count. But you guys get the gist of it. Obviously we're not in a contest prep, so we don't have to be like eating chicken and rice <clears throat> salad and chicken every fucking meal you know like you can live a little bit this is the off season we're putting fucking size on we're putting fucking muscle on and I'm super stoked because this was the first day and this is day 21 and this is only the recomp like the calories that I'm eating right now is technically only recomp calories I'm not even eating to put on size yet that's coming at week five so in another week and a half, we'll do another full day of eating so I can show you guys even more fucking food. Because obviously you guys see we only had about five meals today, kind of four and a half. But then we're going to introduce five full meals and then six full meals, then seven full meals, and then probably up to eight full meals as we push closer to 250 pounds. So I love the results so far. I hope you guys are getting the results as well. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers by 2022. Can't do it without you guys. I hope you liked the video. I'll see you. When is this coming out? By uh, this Thursday, Tuesday. I will see you guys Thursday at 5 o'clock.